rational solutions to 2x cubed minus 7x squared plus 11x minus 4. Okay, since I need to only find rational solutions, I'm going to use first of all the rational root test. The factors of 2 are 1 and 2, and the factors of 4 are 1, 2, and 4. Therefore, the only possible rational solutions, the only possible ones, would be quotients that are formed by taking those back factors over the front factors. So 1 over 1, 2 over 1, 4 over 1, 1 over 2, 2 over 2, which is just 1, and 4 over 2, which is just 2. So we only have a handful of these that we have to go out and check. We only have to check plus and minus 1, plus and minus 2, plus and minus 4, and plus and minus 1 half, because those are the only ones that are even possible by the rational roots test. Okay, so let's go check them out. Uh, let's just choose a random one to begin with. Let's take 1 and see if 1 works as a solution. So here I'm going to use synthetic division to see if 1 goes in and leaves me uh, with what kind of remainder. So going into 2, negative 7, 11, negative 4. It looks like I get, let's see, 2, 2 times 1 is 2. Negative 5 times 1 is negative 5. There's a 6, and that's a 2. So since that remainder is not 0, that means we did not get a factor here. So we got to try again. Let's try, I don't know, let's try negative 2. So we try negative 2, going into 2, negative 7, 11, negative 4. And as I do that, it looks like 2. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. That's a negative 11. That's a 22. 33, negative 66, and negative 70. That one's not 0 either, so we're going to have to try again. Uh, let's try the fraction part. Let's try 1 half. 1 half, going into 2, negative 7, 11, negative 4 yields, let's see, 2, 2 times 1 half is 1, so negative 6 times 1 half is negative 3, 8 times 1 half is 4, oh, and there's 0. So that means that 1 half does go into this polynomial. So what are our factors now? Well, we have an x minus 1 half, and then due to the leftovers here, we can see that we must have a 2x squared minus a 6x plus an 8 equaling to 0. So I'm going to factor out a common 2 and then foil it or distribute it into the first part. So we're going to have 2x minus 1. And then over here, we'd be left with x squared minus 3x plus 4. And so we know that 1 half is a solution. And if we glance at this one for a second, I can't see any way of factoring that. Let me calculate the discriminant to see if we can factor that any further. So up here in the right-hand corner, I'm going to do d, which is equal to b squared minus 4 times a times c, which would give me 9 minus 16. Oh, and notice that's the part of the quadratic formula that would be under the square root. So that residual quadratic down here is going to have two complex solutions. And therefore, the only rational solution you get is from this piece right here. And your only rational solution to the problem is going to be x equals 1 half. There are three roots to the equation, but two of them are complex. 1 half is the only rational solution to this particular equation.